Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about using two different reverbs on one acoustic guitar. One of the reverbs is a Strymon Blue Sky, and the other one is a Lexicon MX200. Now this setup is more for a live situation rather than a studio. If it was a studio, then I'd probably be using two different mics, um, but this is more for a live setup. In this demo, I'm gonna be using two different sources on the acoustic guitar. One of them is the Neumann KM184 small diaphragm cardioid condenser microphone, and the other one is gonna be a K K Trinity Pure Mini Pick. Pickup. So this pickup is a contact pickup. It has three contact points on the inside of the guitar, just underneath the bridge where it picks up all the sound. The reason we're using two different reverbs is because the sources are very different. So the pickup is obviously very dry. It's very directional. Um, it's very full. It has a lot of low end, but the kind of the top, mid and highs are and just not very acoustic sounding. And the microphone is obviously very different to that. It's very airy, it's very acoustic sounding. The highs are really lovely, but maybe the lows in a live situation, uh, you're not gonna be able to kind of get that low end out of it because of feedback. So you're gonna be focusing more on the high, airy, kind of top end sounds on the microphone. So for the pickup, we're gonna use the Blue Sky. We're gonna give it a longer reverb and we're gonna make it almost more unnatural sounding because the pickup is kind of unnatural sounding in itself. It doesn't really sound a lot like an acoustic guitar. Although it does a little bit and it's a great pickup, it doesn't really represent the acoustic guitar in the same way that the mic will do. So we're gonna, do more of reverb more longer reverb we're going to have a lower reverb because the whole the pickup is going to, we're going to be able to get a lot more lower frequencies out of it in a live situation especially um, so we're going to do a low long reverb almost unnatural sounding reverb um, but and bear with me here because um, you'll see how this will then complement the microphone. So let's have a listen to what the pickup sounds like on its own with the Strymon Blue Sky. So in the mic, it's all the detail. So we're gonna have a lot more of a natural sound with that. So we're gonna give it a, a not as long reverb. It's gonna be a shorter reverb. Again, we're gonna have, um, I quite like a, a low reverb, a low sounding reverb in general. So we'll, we'll do that. And also we're gonna have a little bit more of a top end on the reverb there. With the microphone, obviously we wanna keep all those natural sounds as much as possible. And let's have a listen to what the microphone sounds like with the lexicon. <laughs> And now let's have a listen to what it sounds like together.
So do you see what I mean? They kind of complement each other in the sound. Uh, and obviously you can experiment with the levels there, whether you want more microphone or whether you want more pickup, depending on what sort of sound that you want. When dealing with reverbs, it's also really important to know what all the controls do. And I talk about that in this video here. So click on that and I'll see you over there. Bye.